Welcome to the Boxing Bookie. We are back. We are back. It is good to be back. It's good to be back. Um, we're going to get into one last show this week. It's been a bit of a slow week. I've been out of it. I've had a lot going on. Um, I want to get into Arnold Barbosa uh, and Sean McComb, which I think is a, is a, is a good fight. It, it might be a snooze fest, but it's a competitive fight. I want to get into it. Uh, before I do, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. The Boxing Bookie comes at you for every single major fight. Show you how to bring down the house and consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. Um, I'm losing my freaking brain. Um, join the Patreon. The link is in the description. You can also find the link in the banner below. Uh, Five dollars a month gets you the lock of the week. It gets you all the perks. Um, ask the Bookie anything. We're starting a Discord. Ask me to request a video. I'll I'll do a video for you. Show you how to make money in any single fight that you want. Uh, join the Patreon link is in the description. Just five dollars a month. Also subscribe to my other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That is Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to autism research and recovery. All right, let's get into today's show. Let's get into today's show. The boxing bookie. All right, um, Arnold Barbosa. I'm a Barbosa fan. I think Barbosa is a good fighter. Oh, that's rough. What, what's in that? That was terrible. Whoa. Okay. Arnold Barbosa. Long, reigns, smooth boxer. Gets in and out. Not a hitter. Let's, let's put that out there. Doesn't really put much intentions on his shots. He's not a, he's not a hitter. But he's a good combination puncher. He's got a high ring IQ. He mixes up his shots really well. He goes to the body. Both these guys go to the body. He's one of those guys, highly skilled guys, that can stand in front of you, just slide his head offline, make you miss. Slide your head offline, make you miss. He can stand in front of you and make you miss. Not a whole – that's an elite level thing. Only the highest level guys can really do that. He also throws in good volume, but like I said, there's not a whole lot of intention on it. There's not, he doesn't put a lot of static on his punches. He's got a good jab that I like. He uses it. That's really his best punch. Uh, and then the rest of the thing, he just kind of <laughs> amateurs a little bit in his shots. Like he's just looking to score with them a little bit. Um, he keep he can stand in, in front of you, like I said, and make you miss. And that's where he does some work. He goes ahead and body, but there's not a lot of stank on it. And that's going to keep him just short against the best fighters in the world. But I really like his skills. Um, I think, I think he's a really good fighter. I, I think Arnold Barbosa Jr. Is, is really good. I think he's going to beat a lot of fighters. I, I think, but the lack of intention, the lack of power on his shots, and the lack of commitment on his shots, I think he's going to keep him just short of the best, best guys in the division. Uh, but outside of that, you know, he's definitely a top ten guy. He's probably a top five guy. He's good. Like Arnold Barbosa is a good fighter. <laughs> Clean, sharp counter puncher, good counter puncher. He does a lot of things really well. His skills are really, really high level, really high level defensively, offensively. He's just a, a good, you know, B plus or an A minus fighter. Um, and it's just at the highest, highest level, the, the best guys. I think he's just going to come up a little short, but against everyone else he beats, he's just a really talented fighter. So I'm McComb, Southpaw, 18-1, five knockouts. You can kind of see where I'm going to go with him, but I like McComb too. Long range, mover, six foot tall, Southpaw. He's a headache to deal with. He's good. Uh, this is a nice looking fighter. Uh, the odds on this are going to be way too wide, but you know he's also a good counter puncher. Good straight left. He he doesn't really throw in the combinations I like him to, but he's really accurate with a straight left counter. He has a nice little right hook. He's a bit awkward, but he's got good skills. He's got good feet. He can control the distance. He can keep you at bay. When you do get inside, you get caught with a right hook. He can check you with the hook, you know, a little bit, touch you with the straight left. He, he's really, really good. Uh, I wish he, he's got a nice little dab. It's long, and he can use it to keep you at, away. I wish he, he, he'd stick it out there a little bit more. <laughs> He's a good body puncher, too. I said both these guys are good body punchers. What I really like is his accuracy. I mean, these are two really, really skilled fighters. This is a low-key, really good chess match between these two. Again, this may turn out to be a bit boring for your you know, your, your guy who's not a, a, a enthusiast of the skills. But for, for the astute eye, this is an entertaining fight. He got excellent timing. He's a high, both guys are high ring IQ fighters. He's got good footwork. He gets in a good rhythm. I, I wish he would have a little more volume. 
Again, he's accurate. He's sharp on the outside. There's so much I like about McComb. He's just not a great athlete. He's not a big hitter. Again, he's really good, and I can see why people like him, but at the highest level, he's going to fall short because he just doesn't, there's nothing next level about him, right? Like, he may be able to confuse and frustrate some people being a, a tall, rangy southpaw. Um, he doesn't, you know, he doesn't attack. He doesn't really commit to his shots. But his skills are good. Whoever taught him to fight did a really good job. You know, he's, he's, he's good footwork, good combination, high IQ. He's, he's a good fighter. You know, he's a B-level fighter. Um, I think he's going to be a little short in this fight with Barbosa, but Sean McComb is it's definitely a good fighter to watch. Let's take a look at the odds here. This minus 1,100. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now he's going to win the fight, but this is abs- absurd. He should be a, a minus five or 600. Like, that, that, that is twice what it should be. So we're gonna look at put we're gonna split this bet up because I don't like these odds. Uh, but Barbosa is gonna win the fight. Um, Fifty dollar bet. So half your bet um, on Barbosa is gonna make you four dollars and fifty four cents because these odds are atrocious, which is why we're only putting half the bet on that. The other half is going on the over eight and a half. The over we're definitely taking the over. This is a high speed chess match. I, I don't. I think this is gonna be one of the fights where not only are there. No knockout. No one gets knocked out. I don't think anyone gets knocked down or seriously hurt. Uh, I, I love the over, and it's almost even money. So between these two bets, we're going to make 47 and 5 is $52. So it, we, 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 we were able to work with that a little bit. I really like the over. If you want to go a little higher on the over, I don't mind that. Uh, but this is definitely a, a decision type fight. This fight's going the distance. I love the over on this. I, I like Barbosa. I just hate the odds. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, follow the Box and Bookie, all forms of social media. Uh, the Box and Bookie comes at you for every single major fight, showing you how to bring down the house and consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. Please join the Patreon. Link is in the description. Just five dollars a month gets to the lock of the week. Free t shirt. We're going to start a Discord. We'll get part, uh, part of that. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Uh, it is February. No, it's not February. It is April 19th, 2024. From Texas to the world. Thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.